big screen TV. It's the A and R room on Sway in the morning. That's right, man. It's the A and R room, man. Where we like to expose you to artists, songs, music that we feel like you should know. Yeah, yeah. And we want to get your feedback from it. Rich Nice is here, your favorite producer's favorite producer. Soundboy Killer. Work with everybody from Jigga to J Lo to Fifty Cent to Nas. To Ludacris to Saigon. Tell them. To Reefa. Mary J. My bad. My bad, Rich. My bad. My bad. Mary Kelly. Damn. 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 Mary J. Black. Rich Nice is here, ladies and gentlemen. Salute, salute, salute. Mary. Rich, it's a special day today. Uh, A young man that I've I've grown to respect ever since he was going ape years ago. Mm. He put out that Ohio project, that swanging joint. Every one of his songs that I like, it's a lot of them that I like. I like his projects. I always said his projects are like a good book. In a good book you could read once, and then a couple years later, you're looking for another good, a good book to read. You could pick up that same good big book that you read once, and then you find out more that you did the first time you read it. That's what his projects are like. I admire this guy. I respect him because he didn't let his career be defined by his affiliations. Mm. You know, he was doing this before he was affiliated. Mm. He had aspirations to do what it is he's doing today, which is edutainment. Fact. It's the process of entertaining people while you educate them. I knew he was on that from day one. Everybody else looking at the affiliations and, the, and the, whoever the, the people jumped on the collaborations. Who are the features on this track? That's what they looked at. I looked at the words. When I just saw him, we're talking about reflection of self, the head trip, his project. I'm quoting lyrics from songs that I don't even know the titles to yet. Mm. <laughs> because they stick to the ribs. And I was telling him, I think the portal was open that people are ready to embrace and receive consciousness along with that entertainment. Sometimes we go through voids. We go through moments where nice. that, that, that vessel, that, that vein is blocked. You know, it's like a clogged artery. So he's back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, getting set for his head trip tour. The one and only Stolly. Stolly is Woo-hoo! here. Stolly. Yeah, yeah. Welcome thank back, you. King. Thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you for the the humbling introduction. I appreciate that. It's realer than rap for us now. Yeah. How long we been doing this? About ten years. <laughs> About ten years. Yeah. So I'm not talking to you as an interviewer. No, I know. I'm talking know. to you as family and, now. <laughs> and that's why I say I appreciate it because coming from you is yeah. very humbling, man. You've been around everyone. You know, we 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 know the list. So mm-hmm. for to hear that and to be um, you know accepted mm-hmm. into that class, it, it's just a humbling thing, and I appreciate it. I felt that always about your music. I just know things move in um, time. Waves. You know, in mm-hmm. in uh, waves. In waves. Mm-hmm. And people aren't always ready to receive uh, something that um, that perhaps they should. And I just think now, with your independence as well, um, which with independence you free up thought. Yes. Right. right. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> right. That's a perfect way to put it. Right. Yes. And, uh, and and you've been on this this track for a long time now. Tell me about this project, Reflection of Self, the Head Trip. I actually want to go through songs. Okay. The first song, um, Head Trip. One of the things you say is. The teacher is no longer a student, a mastered self. Yes. In this verse. Yes. That's what stood out like when I heard it. Mm-hmm. What what is that in relation to? It's just in relation to everything you you mentioned about the affiliations, you know, people um comparing you that whoever you're next to, you mm-hmm. know. And it's like, nah, I, I've learned what I've needed to learn, I've seen what I've needed to see, and now I am the teacher. Now yeah. I have enough knowledge and um wisdom that I can share. Mm-hmm. And I can be able to help and develop artists or develop um, even myself, you know what I'm saying? Just growing um, and, and reflecting, you know, being able to actually reflect on um, the past and be able to correct whatever it was that I felt was was slowing me up. Mm-hmm. I'm curious to that. Like, what are some of those things? Like, because if you master yourself, that means you have been reflective. Yes. That's type of reflection of self. <laughs> right. What are can you pinpoint some of the things specifically that you felt slowed you up as a as an artist and as a person as an individual? Well, I can say that you know the music for me is more spiritual now. You know, mm-hmm. I, I tell people if it doesn't move me to move other people, then I can't do it. And I feel like before, you know, sometimes you're just rapping to um, to an audience that isn't your audience. Mm-hmm. You're trying to create something that isn't you. That's real. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So now I'm 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 rapping for myself, mm-hmm. but I'm also rapping for those that are like minded as well. Mm-hmm. And that's what's important to me. Um, with, with reflection of self, it's definitely reflecting and and being able to 
um, like when I first started, right? Mm -hmm. Everything I didn't even curse in music. My I remember music, that. You know, yeah. so everything was more like aligned with God for me. Everything. So it was like this is the gift that He's given me. So I want to be able to create it and be able to speak through Him or let Him speak through me. Mm -hmm. I got away from that. So now I was like, I got to get back to what I really want to get, you know, what, what the meaning for is for me. And that's to, to help people, mm -hmm. to inspire people, to educate people and to help people grow because that's what music did for me. Mm -hmm. And that was always my goal coming into music, being an MC, is to do that. I wanted to be more of a help than more of a problem for people. You know what I'll I'm saying? I get that. I get that. If that makes sense. That makes sense, man. Because I know even in, in even with your relationship with God as an artist, um, most artists probably come to that crossroad. Do I incorporate this in my lyrics? Is that even popular? Is that going to put pigeonhole me to be one thing or another? So it, it's a conflict. I'm, I'm sure it's a tug of war creatively. Yes. We're starting to see Kanye right. deal with that now, mm -hmm. right? With Jesus is King and yes. his project and... Uh, but you can relate to, do you feel like you can relate to what he's going through or? In a sense, yes, I can, because, um, you know, like I, he's seen more than me, I'm sure. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he's dealt with a lot more demons probably than I have. But I definitely can see it because when you are tapped into that spiritual realm or just into that, you know, you have you are one with God. Then you always have a consciousness in the back of your mind that's telling you what and what not to do or what and not what and what not to say or mm -hmm. put out in the world because you're responsible there's people who look up for you look up to you there's people who inspire to be you so you want to be able to be a good reflection for them to follow so i see what he's saying like with the modesty and with um uh you know even the addictions to you know porn mm -hmm. and things that he's talking about uh -huh. like that's not my issue you wasn't addicted to yeah, porn nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay. you want to talk about that like that you sure yeah. you don't want to talk about that yeah. okay I, all right all right I, so we've been I'm, open i'm clear on okay, that one okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> but but i'm just, just <laughs> i'm speaking on some of the things that he spoke oh, okay. but i don't battle with that but i do battle with you know just issues of just um it could even be of um, of confidence, you know, because like you said, like I could want to speak on, um, you know, a connection that I have with God without being or and try not to be preachy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because my who I follow, you know, I'm a Muslim. So, you know, not everybody is a Muslim. Mashallah. You know what I mean? You're a Sunni Muslim. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you explain the difference? Um, yeah, so, you know, Sunni with uh, the NOI and yeah. Sunni, yeah, so with the Nation of Islam, you know, it's more, well, I, the easy way to put it for people who don't know, they believe in the Honorable Elijah Muhammad mm -hmm. um, as the last prophet, where Sunni Muslims is one guy, we believe in the Prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. that's it. That's it, okay. Um, you also put in the song, um, Also New, yes. that you hang with Moors and Israelites. Correct. Um, people have their perception of what that means, a Moor or Israelite. A right. lot of folks don't know the teachings of the Moors or the Israelites. Mm -hmm. uh, what What is it about those teachings uh, that re made, was relatable to you? And what is it kind, kind of, you know, some of the misperceptions people have about it that you want to share? Yeah, uh, well, the misconceptions mis um, that people have about it, I think for sure, is that it's more of a, a, a violent, especially with uh, uh -huh. the Israelites, you know, it's more of a hateful group, so to say, you uh -huh. know, like, or it's like we are uh, black kings and queens and, you know, everybody's the devil. You uh -huh. know, I think that a lot of people feel that way. Like it's uh -huh. more like it's just a, um, a, a negative, you know, um, energy that they put out, but it's not true. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and same with Moors. Moors, you know, believe that uh, we are the Asiatic black man, the original black man, and again, kings and queens. So learning, you know, I have some friends who are Moors and friends who are Israelites, and then I have obviously friends who are Christians, Muslims, whatever. Mm -hmm. So just sitting and building with them and kind of seeing their perception on life and, um, and, and religion on where they see us as black people I think it's very empowering. Yeah. You know, like for, uh, and something that we need to know mm -hmm. because we are taught 
that we are criminals, thugs, um, that we can't, you know, that we don't, that we come from slavery, mm -hmm. you know, which we do. But a lot of it, we we walked on gold. We was mm -hmm. here before. We was crowned. Slavery we was, was a small part it, of our. It was right. very well, small. I'm gonna say small, but it was just, <clears throat> well, just, yeah. it's just a, it's a chapter, chapter. of it's our. It's a chapter yeah. of our, le you yeah. know. But our legacy is much stronger and bigger than that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I learned, and that's what I get from both Israelites and Moors. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> sorry, sorry. So that's what you know. I just wanted to. So do you speak read from the Bible, or where do you read? No, from? the Quran. The Quran. Yes, yes. Okay. And then, do you only read the Quran? Have you read? Other? No, I've read others. Yeah. You what, know, what, like what? there's teachings in everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. can learn from everything. So, um, and, and there's a lot of similarities in a lot of the books as well. Yeah. You right. know. Um. So for me, I can't again tell you what to believe or what to you know take from it. But mm -hmm. it's it's good in all of it. Hey man, Starley is here. Reflection of self, the head trip. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you if you if you decide to change the lyrics to some of your older music because of your your spiritual evolution, Heather's not gonna come to your concert. So, so I'm, 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 she, she okay. wants you to perform the so old songs the same way you record on them. Take yeah. me through your journey. Because Kanye said he's not gonna do the old ones. Heather says she's not paying a buck fifty. No, I wanted to take me through your journey. I yeah. believe that we all have an evolution and, and we're all trying to learn and grow. And there's you're not the same person who you were at 19 exactly. versus 29 versus 35. But let's find out why. Let's remember why. Let's hear why. It's a reason why you got into that headspace. Walk us through it, yeah. you know, just to sort of cheat us out of the experience and change the lyrics in midair. That's not what it's about. I think people are more open to hearing about your spirituality when you're honest about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This who I was at this point. I'm here now, but let me walk you through it. Let me explain why. Just to change the lyrics to me or not perform just seems like you want us to erase all of that? Right. Like, how did you get yeah. to this point? So I, I ain't paying. No, yeah. <laughs> I agree, too, because, you know, like, even me, I'm still learning. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I don't have a lot of questions, and I'm still learning with my spirituality. Right. I'm still learning from the Moors and the Israelites. I don't know everything. I mm -hmm. can't speak on it. But I will soak up as much as I can, and I will and put it in the music. Can do. So, you yeah. know, like you said, so you can you can evolve with me. Right. Yeah, he soaked right. up a lot of ink on his, um, on his, <laughs> on his head, too. Did you notice this? crazy. crazy. Yeah. I absolutely Is it amazing? Did. He got a tat. What you got a skull? What they call it? A scully? Yeah. <laughs> what is it called? It's called a um. Damn. Why am I forgetting it? It's called a. Uh, I mean, this is a head, but there, there is a word for it. It's yeah, a, it's a, um, a head tattoo. Yeah, it is a head tattoo, but it's a different word. Like you know, the cholos use it. I forget what it is sure, though, but yeah. yeah. Mm. Can you talk about it's the significance great. of all the pieces? It that's goes on back there? to the kings and the queens and the you know, and, and it's a lot of um. You know, I have Horus, Osiris, Isis, and then I have a scarab. Mm. And some people can even say that's conflicting with Muslims, you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, you ain't supposed to. It's idol, you know, like. Idol, yeah. But, Idolatry. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that word. But, yeah, so, again, just learning our history, learning who, how we got here, uh, who built the the lands who built the pyramids who you know did everything for us to get to where we at almost is like it's just i put that crown on my head mm -hmm. so how long did it take you to get this head tat it took me eight hours eight hours but three four sessions how was the pain factor it was uh the the sides was okay the head the top of my the crown of my head wasn't a problem it was when they got behind the ears and then the back was, mm. Yeah, the back wow. of that my was head issue, was huh? the issue. <laughs> did, did, did you tear up, though? Uh, no, I didn't, okay. but um, I was doing things that I normally don't. Okay. I, I was smoking cigarettes, you know, with the... <laughs> <laughs> did it help? Uh, yeah. Yeah. My... my um, my tattoo artist, his name is Anderson Luna. He's at Save Tattoos in Brooklyn, so go holla at him. But, um, yeah, it, he did a great job, That's and he, he basically coached me through it. Even with the back, I was in pain, and I wanted to kind of sit through it because I'm somebody who, when I get, you know, started, I want to finish, finish it. it. Yeah. But he was like, nah, come back, you know. like wow. he, he could see it he in my face. He saved yeah, you. He saved <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a brother. <laughs> yeah. Um, you got this project, Reflection of Self, the head trip um, is out. Um, this Friday. Yes. To all the citizens, you know who we bring up here, man. We we say this. We always tell you the ones that we really think you should invest in, and especially those who are independent, doing it for the uh, for the right reasons, in my opinion. Yes. Uh, Starley, get make sure you invest in this project. Mike Muse. Uh, yeah. Oh. I was gonna go to Tracy first, oh, and sure, then, sure. then Mike Muse after that. Yeah.
Perfect. All right, Trace. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I did. I did, did want to <laughs> see before if you were planning on still having your old music now that it doesn't reflect who you are now. But now I'm wondering, since you touched on that, I'm wondering if um, with this head tattoo you have, do you see people looking at you differently? Because oftentimes those who have tattoos in more what others would call extreme places are judged <laughs> with the swiftness. Right. Um, I haven't really seen it or felt it yet, you know. Um, and I just revealed it, like, probably... I think two week a week ago, whenever mm -hmm. I put my cover out. So a lot of people didn't even know because I was still wearing my hat. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I mean, it's been a lot of uh, good attention to, you know, people are, you know, saying that they like it or they, you know, they because, you know, he did such a great job. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, it's been, I guess it's been okay to answer that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how often you got to shave? Every day. Every day because yeah, the hair comes yeah, up? Yeah, it comes up quick. Damn. Like, I just got a haircut this morning. I'll uh -huh. probably have to shave tomorrow morning. Okay. Wow. My man Starly, wow. man. Uh, Mike Mews, go for it. Yo. So, I, mean, I think you're dope. Thank you. And I'm really Thank loving you. this conversation. Thank you. And you seem very authentic, right? Thank so you. So, I'm curious. You lean so much into identity, whether it's your religion, whether it's ancestry of who we are as black people. Yes. Uh, what made you lean into this identity so much? Because I feel identity comes first before yes. anything else. Like, was there a moment in your childhood? Like, what? I, I think um, it was in my childhood. So I tell people this story all the time. Like, my mom was someone who was, like, an avid reader. Like, she read a lot. Like, she would read maybe three, four books a week. Like, she was crazy. So one thing my mom used to do is take me to the library as a kid. And when I went to the library with her, she would let me go and pick out whatever I wanted. So if I went and got a book on theology or Islam or, you know, Edgar Allan Poe, whatever it was, she allowed me to get it and read. She wasn't somebody who was like, oh, you too young or you too, you should. So I think that helped with my identity, with just finding myself kind of like earlier, um, just seeking out knowledge and my mom allowing me to kind of like find it on my own, but also help me at the same time. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Which nice. Let's talk about the independent business for a second, yes. because as an independent artist, I know to come from a label that's with major distribution and all of the things are done for you and you don't have to really worry about them. How is it now in this process of of metadata? You know, metadata is such a big part of even getting your money. Yeah. So so who's doing the metadata? Who's making sure that all the information is inputted correctly so that globally you can still get your money? Well, yeah. I have a good, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a good team, you know, um, a good management team, and I also have, you know, a good lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, he does a great job at v ba basically micromanaging the meta metadata, metadata, metadata. Also, um, you know, paying attention to the analytics, paying attention to where people are streaming or listening mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, following. So, you know, with that team combined with, you know, the team that I have, um, you know, management team, they do a great job with helping those things. And I want to touch on the importance of independent too, like as far as just like the fans, like everybody, I want to say thank you to the people who do support me and have supported me. They're so important. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm here still mm -hmm. because of them and I'm able to, you know, I'm going on tour. Let me shout that out. That's right, <laughs> yeah. the Head Trip yeah. Tour, yeah. Yeah. November 7th in yeah. Chicago, the Head Trip <laughs> yeah. Tour. Get November, your tickets. Right, November 7th, the Head Trip Tour. It starts in Chicago. So right. if you're there, you know, get your tickets now, bluecollargang.com. But I'm able to do that because of those people. And, and, you know, I'm able to still be on the road and, and people are willing to pay to see me. And it's a beautiful thing. And the, But the importance is, you know, some people are like, they're, they're happy you're independent, but we need to support independent Gotta too. Support yes. You know, because people are always, man, I love that you're independent. I love that you're not with a label no more, but I need to show, I need y'all to show that love with the support. You yeah. know, like Sway said, get that out. You know, don't just stream the head trip, purchase it. You know, yeah. it's only, I think, seven ninety eight ninety nine. dollars 99 yeah. something. It's $10. Mm -hmm. You know, purchase it. Don't just stream it. Uh, you Come got, get a ticket, fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. Tickets to the show. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, I think it's wow. fifteen or twenty dollars. Yeah. They still do fifteen dollar tickets. That, but I that's the so. thing I'm doing. You know, I'm doing. You can I'm, get a, a drink costs more than <laughs> exactly. That. I was going to say a drink at the bar is more. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So tickets is fifteen twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah. That's a meal at Wendy's. 
You know, wow. <laughs> and like, you got your merch set up too. Yes, your merch, people. Yes, merchandise is coming um, for the for the tour. Okay. So we'll have to, um, we'll have it online and at the shows. Nice. So. Okay. What, when you check that uh, uh, mega data, what what metadata? What yes. what what. what what did the analytics say in terms of what songs people are gravitating towards, or has it done since the album ain't out yet? But some of the songs have come out. Yeah, some yeah. of the songs have come out. Also, New is doing great. Okay, um, A Man is doing well too. But Also, uh. New is really doing great, and those are the only two sh- songs that I have released yeah, so okay. far. Uh-huh. Um, the A Man, A Man got the. Uh, was it the OJ sample? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forever mine. Yeah, yeah. We Ooh. had to do a little Ohio right Y'all there. Y'all want to do that? Yeah, can we, we do that? We'll yeah, we can do that. Okay, yeah, let's we can do, do that. that. Track six. Let's do that, all right? Uh, Stalley is here. You want to talk with him? 888-742-3345. And teamwork. And everyone knew that this was just the beginning. Yeah, Stalley is here, man. That, that was a song, hey, amen. Um, on the Reflection of Self, the Head Trip album, which is a great, it's like reading a great book, Heather, you know, sitting and listening to his album. Mm. It's almost like um, I'm trying to get into podcasts and all of, you know, it's listening in my spare time. When you listen to his album, it's like you're listening to somebody who has a lot of information and wisdom that that, that is Dope. kind of refreshing. And I like it, man. Don from Indiana. What's up, Don? Hey, what up, Don? Hey, what's up, everybody? This- First time caller, long time listener. My man, Don. Uh, Give him a citizenship. You a citizen. Sway in the morning, homie. Uh, so I got a question. Um, for Scully. Uh, when you were going through the whole religious aspect and looking into things, uh, were you doing it to find yourself or find the right religion? What's up, Don? To answer the question, I was doing it to find myself. Um, you know, I was. I already had my religion. And I was already in tune with that. So I was really just trying to find myself again, find my meaning, my purpose, um, you know, that I felt that I lost a little bit or I lost touch with. And that's really it. Hey, Dom, make make sure you support this project, man. Definitely worth you getting, man. It's out Friday. Reflection of Self, the head trip. Tyler and Savannah, what up? It's Tyler. 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 good. You finally Tyler. got my name right, sweet. <laughs> hey, Tyler. You got to pay dues, son. All right, here we go. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, beautiful people. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, so, so uh, boss man, Staley, I had a question for you, dog. So I heard you about you shaving every morning. Hey, I'm going through a struggle. <laughs> so I'm I'm 23. Hey, I start thinning early, young young buck. So I'm just trying to see, man, is there anything out there that can help me, like, so I don't have to shave every day? Man, that is a good. I wish I knew. <laughs> um, the only thing I know is uh, what it's like micro. Uh, what's that micro abrasion or something like that? What's the that? Um, oh, microblading. Yeah, you can laser your hair off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can laser your hair off, and that's the only thing I know that'll stop it. Oh, snap. Damn, Ty. Is it that serious, bro? <laughs> man, listen, bro. I had to, man, I got a bald head, and I went from waves. So I was like, you know, let me just embrace the shave, bro. <laughs> there you go, man. Hey, you should see what Stolly did to his, man. If, yeah. you're, if you're an artist, you know, you, you can, man, you can get some money for this. It appreciates with time. Your head will gain value as you get older. Yeah. I uh, appreciate that. And so, yeah. can I uh one more thing, Stolly? So, um, yes. I actually, I'm an artist, and I was wondering if I can actually, you know, like, email you my song. I actually email, emailed it to Soy already. I ain't get a call back, but it's cool. I'm, I'm still waiting. Have <laughs> right. faith. You made it in. You made it online, man. It's moving in a good direction. Of course you can. Uh, my email is on my Instagram and Twitter. You can uh, email. Definitely try to check it out. You know what I'm saying? And give whatever feedback right, I yeah. can. Hey, Tyler, mention us. Mention Sway in the morning. Hey, Tyler, you... Tyler, you uh, said that Sway got your name right finally. You didn't get my name right. It's Stally. Stally, my apologies. Nah, you all apologies. good. I, it's all love, baby. That's Shit, I've been calling him Stally for years. He's been, <laughs> he been letting the big brothers. Sw- <laughs> He lets you put that Oakland accent on. Oakland, my head is Sally, but uh, what comes out is always. Anyway, right. man. Yeah. <laughs> Kev, Kev, what up, Kev? Kev, help what's me out. On? He's in South Carolina. <laughs> what's hey, going on, Sway? What's going on, everybody? What, what up, man? How you doing? Good morning, good morning. But Stally, I've been deal- I, I've been fucking with you for a minute, man. And um, that that swinging that you did with Scarface, mm. man, and that mint condition beat. Man, I, I, man, that right there should have got that right there, man. It should have got way more 
spins than I, I see on on YouTube, which is good. But man, that's a that that was a hit hit. Oh, I'm just being honest. I appreciate. And I love everything you're doing, man. I've been rocking with your mixtapes for six years ago, man. You you just man, I, I, I'm glad you're doing your thing, man. I'm gonna support you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Please yeah. do it. Um, thank you for the kind words. And uh, yeah, I agree with you on swinging. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, it's swinging, not swinging. Swing. Swinging. <laughs> yeah, get it right, damn right. it. So, uh, who you kind, who you came up in? Well, first, first, yeah. I'm happy for you. I feel Thank this you. energy. Yeah. Thank you. I Thank feel you. the space you're in. Thank you. I want to feed off of that space. Thank you. Okay, so we're connected again. We're gonna support this project. I want citizens yeah. to support this project. Please. The other thing I like about you is you support others. Yes. You're independent, but you support others. Yes. I mean, you might not even have a pot to piss in, but yeah. you're gonna share that pot. I'm gonna share it every time. <laughs> every That's time. how I was raised. I ain't yeah. mad at that. So who'd you come with today, man? So uh, yeah, again, the head trip tour, November seventh. Okay. I got a couple guys, blue collar gang okay. representatives with BCG, me. BCG. Yeah. BCG. I got my homie. Y'all life. not cripping, are you? Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Blue collar no, yeah, no, 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 no. No, the no. gang ain't the oh, gang. Oh. Like, <laughs> that blue collar the gang. gang <laughs> yeah, the, the gang is more like the gang with Charlie Brown. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the gang. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, like Peanut little, gang. little rascals yeah, yeah, are yeah, gang. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. But, uh, yeah, so I, I got two of the homies with me. Uh, Life Dutchie out of East New York, Brooklyn. Uh, Gerald Walker out of Chicago, Illinois. So, yeah, you know, they coming on the uh, road with me. They're going to be on the road. They're they going to be hitting the stage with me. Some headphones, Mike. Muse. Yeah. Some headphones. Uh, they, they got, got some around over here. Yeah. Okay. Get on some okay. headphones. Don't get on mic. Right come come okay. over there. Get Tracy mic. You get now. If you get in front of Tracy mic, hey. ain't nothing but solid information going inside <laughs> yeah. that mic. <laughs> right, right. Hey, you can't have nothing wavery. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, Gerald Walker is it? Yes, sir. Gerald Walker came on yeah, Rap yeah. Fix, Rich Nice. Really? Maybe. Eight, nine, ten years ago. How yeah, many yeah. years ago? Well, Man, ten, ten, about time. ten years ago. Yeah. He came with the boy Illinois. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And wow. the boy Illinois has been in the family circle since then. Right. right. And so I see him. I'm in a urinal in the bathroom. <laughs> This young man is making conversation with me. Yeah. I'm like, damn, yeah. man, my light must be glowing right now. He got to get that off his chest. <laughs> so I switched positions. He got in the urinal. I'm at the sink. We still talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, for That's sure. Up, man, I ain't mad at him. He had to get it when Hungry. he got A. Yeah. Get that man a round of applause, man. He didn't yeah, care. Yeah, I appreciate that. I really do. He didn't care, man. Really um, and that's what, you know, that's what I love both about, I mean, the most about both of these guys is that they hungry, they got energy, and they barred up. You know what I mean? Joe, you, you've been doing this for so many years yeah. now, man. What, what's yeah. been some of the high moments? High moments just came when we went to South Africa. Okay. You know, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it was one of those things where, you know, my mom always preached, if you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. Yeah. So me and Stiley, we was out, and he was like, bro, in two days, we going to Cape Town. And I was like, what? And then uh, this is another high moment, too, just, yo, we doing sway. Get bored up. So, yeah. This is what it is. What's it your is, social, man? Walk with Gerald. My name is Gerald Walker, so W-A-L-K-W-I-T-H. First name, Gerald, G-E-R-A-L-D. And that's everything, Facebook, Instagram. From the shy. Yeah. So you've been able to pretty much stay afloat with the uh, following your passion there. Yeah. You ain't got yeah, a day yeah. job? No, I mean, I own a couple businesses, so I just use that. Did you see that happen? Did you so, see what happened? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, ask, you ask enough questions, you're going to get a lot of Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what, what kind yeah. of businesses you own? Yeah, so um, I'm in a um, supplement sector. I own a, um, a website Tracy. called Vita City New York. Um, and then in November, I'm launching a fragrance and design studio named Ayo. Um, we're going to be hyper striking and quick striking like shoes, okay. uh, scented candles and unisex <coughs> fragrances and stuff. Wow. So, you have a, yeah. a business team? <laughs> nah, it's just me. You just know, you I do, doing I do it? everything, bookkeeping, get my business license. I have an attorney. Um, uh -huh. it's like a business attorney, not like entertainment, but. Okay. Yeah, so all right. Them bars better be fired. <laughs> <laughs> all of that shit you talking over there. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. BK, what up, baby? What's going on? What's going du on? What, say, Duchess? Life Dutchy. Life Dutchy. Dutch okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a hard time. You can you know, yeah. Life Duchess? Life Dutchy? Yeah. Like past <clears throat> the Dutchy to the left hand side. Exactly. That's exactly. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. My man, how long you been spitting? A long time. How, how'd you meet this guy, Stally? Stally, school. What school? LIU. You went to LIU, Rich? Yeah. 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 
I was an adjunct, well, I still am an adjunct professor at LIU. Oh, yeah? Teaching music entrepreneurship. Oh, okay. How to okay. make money okay. off of music. Yeah, so, so y'all, y'all met at school? <laughs> yeah. And then did you have to, uh, did y'all used to cipher together? Or? Exactly. He used to always come to me, you know, let me hear his joints. This is way back when he ain't even record nothing yet like that. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How, go. You, did you tell him, did you think he was whack at first? Nah, he was always the same. Okay, <laughs> no I lie. like that. All right, you didn't think in the back of your head, ah, he nice, but I could take him. I mean, I'm always going. <laughs> <think laughs> yeah, I'm always going to think I could take him, but yo, he he, I seen the growth from you the son, beginning from the beginning. beginning. Yeah, man, it's crazy. What's your social? At Life Dutchy. Life Dutchy. Where you yeah. get that name from, man? Man, uh, life just came from like I knew a bunch of uh, God bodies. Okay. Back in the day, and they just called me life. You got to break down for the world what a God body is. <laughs> no, man, I'm not God body, but you know, <laughs> yeah. the, 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 these dudes, man, look, I'm not even going to get into it, but, you know, it's it's crazy. Uh, what are they? Like the uh, five percenters, they talk about five percenters and all Five percent nation. Yeah. yeah. I don't know nothing about it. They was just calling me life. <laughs> Accumulation of wisdom through certain teachings and for, um, practices, Practice, yes. and you know, I, I don't philosophy. Know nothing about it, man. Oh man, it's just that's the a, older dudes. Yeah, man, yeah. learn them now. You got to learn about it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, and I employ all of you too. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So, Stally, uh book of life. These dudes look like they rappers. Yeah. You yeah. know, but how many times you've been on a basketball court and that kid walk out on the court and he got on some some jo- Jordans with the uh, the Jordan shorts, so he might be wearing some Kobe's or he might be wearing some LeBrons, and he come out on the court, he wristband up, got the headband, the whole snap, <laughs> and then he ain't even got a jumper. <laughs> they look like good rappers, <laughs> <laughs> but you ever walk in the valley? Of the hyena! We're going to put you to work. Life, Dutchie. Let's go. Let's go. Sway in the morning. Shade four five. Right. Yo. Sharon Walker. BCG. Let's get it. Yeah. Yo. Uh. Yo. Major nigga, but my grind independent. Many are the ones that start and few of us rally finish. Me and Ashes on that boat bus. Now it's flights out the Venice. Your talent can take you places. Integrity gonna keep you winning. Remember that. I've been real since nipples and simming like I get offended that. Y'all still talking shit on the internet? Well, y'all still into that? Please don't you assault my intellect, cause in effect, Gerald Walker, that nigga, I've been a threat. Like my whole career, I ain't been averaging double doubles. They ignore you at first and turn around claiming that much they love you. Potato on the nine. Couldn't afford the muzzle game lacking. And I feel like a missing piece. To the puzzle, my mama fear I'm um, rushing, but notice a marathon, so like Farrakhan, shit the vagina like Barry Bond, still be bearing on some niggas who chatting and carry on, Dutch. What they know about racks in the carry on? I'm like TSA a pull up a block. I ain't uh, nothing like these new niggas. Uh, they move hot. I'm just trying to play cool, nigga. But I'm still with the shit. Still on the stool, nigga. Yo. Fresh like a day, the first day of school, nigga. I'm anti. That's why I act so funny. Smart nigga, get on the track. Go dummy. What you know about getting that crack and blow money? Gotta tell your moms it's rap and show money. Yeah. All my niggas be in the trap, going love me. All my niggas really be strapped. No funny. Yeah. All y'all niggas be in the pack when no honeys in the strippy when the singles are rap we throw 20s Ooh. uh look go ahead man yo <laughs> listen got- listen i be trusting all black like little kodak Milwaukee Bucks, Ray Allen, throwback, talk crazy, we aiming for what, yo, throw that. Mm. If shorty ain't going, we show the shorty with dough at. My mm. niggas stay down like four flats in the old ass. 1997, Cutler Supreme with no gas. You niggas lame, can tell they get no ass. But go ask, uh-huh. niggas bout walker. Every 16, I lay, I lay in coffin. Spit sick, but I ain't spitting a coffin, Dutch. Uh-huh. Nah, go ahead, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Yo, 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 hold up, Dutch. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Well, hold up, man. Why the point of that style right now, yeah. man? Yeah, nah, I'm letting them live. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Why the point of that, Eva? I didn't point at you. Why the point of that? Go ahead. Yo. Yo, 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 what they know about racks in the carry on? TSA put you over, forgot to declare the currency. Wrong move, they trump a charge, make you serve it concurrently. But I stayed anchor man, no Ron Burgundy. But it's a proper introduction for you little niggas that never heard of me is Gerald Walker. One of the realest in the nation that came out of nowhere like premature ejaculation. That's the shit they be saying. But this is more than 10 years in the making due to hard work, my faith and dedication. But uh, 
When they pop off, they get my rocks off. I'm in a faith, but lay them hands on you like Peter Pop off. Okay. And I don't wanna be the topic of beef, cause that's bad optics. War be necessary, man, but war be bad for profit. So I read the words of the prophets, increase my options. This is close like a stock tip that'll grease my pockets. If I see a wound that I cop it, what you spitting, stop it. What they calling that hot shit, just make my ass a crotch itch. I do this effortless, hoes turn their heads just like the exorcist. I still kick a flow like Eddie in Tekken 6. I've been spitting real since Romans was riding chariots. Urkel was chasing Lauren, Carl was buried to Harriet. See, okay. family matters. Fuck with them and I ain't getting nefarious. I don't play fair with this for you, it ain't get real embarrassing. Keep it plain and simple, this ain't no greed. Speaking no air, Bixie, one man's freedom fighter. It's another man's terrorist, Walker. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Walker? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you, you just yeah. push up, Styley. touchy, touchy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna let Styley do his thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. turn Styley yeah. up. I'm turn on the other mic. Yeah, down. you can turn me. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I found balance and meaning through self-reflection. Admitted my wrongs instead of deflecting. Correcting my flaws by resurrection. I'm born again, born to win, that's a lesson. I'll never take for granted, but damn it, I never did. I stood strong on my beliefs, never slid. Caught some traction and never slipped. Supreme grit. Made something out of nothing, that's supreme grit. As far as being supreme on the mic, you know I steam shit. But the culture I uplift. I shifted so much shit with my mental like Magneto. Never put myself first, always did it for the people. Don't consider this a return, it's more of a sequel. I've been doubtful and depressed, so I'm more of an equal. Align souls, time rolls and waits for no man. Keep your head high, don't ever take the low stance. We come from kings and queens that met. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. You want to get back in that zone? No, you good? Leave him up, leave him up. You come for kings and queens, leave him right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, 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 what you yeah. want to do? It ain't no fault. It ain't no fault. Ain't no fault. Yeah. What you want to do with it? Nah, we gonna leave it there. We gonna we gonna leave them with kings and queens. Leave them kings and queens. Stally is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Gerald Walk. Gerald Walker. Gerald Walker yeah. is here. Life Dutchy is here. Yes. Yeah. Come on, blue collar gang, gang, blue gang, gang. Yes. gang. BCG, they not the Crips. Nope, nope. But if you want to hear a lot of rapping, that head trip, uh, the head trip tour starts November seventh. In Chicago. There you can get is. your tickets now on bluecollargang.com. Hey, Lisbon, what up? Lisbon, good, good morning. How are you? Good morning. How you doing? Good, good, yep, good. How yep. about yourself? I'm doing well. What you want to say? I want to say what's up to you, Stiley. It's your homeboy, Lisbon. How you doing, bro? Oh, what's good, bro? <laughs> this is my bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's happening, bro? What's good what's with good, it? good, man? How he sound today? How he sound today? Oh, you sounding you sounding great, man. Um, I just wanted to call, you know, somebody who knows Stally. Uh, it's hard to say Stally because you know how we go back. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to call you your name. But one thing I just want to put out there is that, you know, a lot of times, especially where we're from in Maslin, it's very easy to say Atlanta and New York. And you're not always getting the love because people want to, you know, you know how that go. Yeah. Everybody got their own. You know, I, I'm trying to make it. Why he make it, I didn't. But you always, always have showed nothing but love. And I just want to know from you, man, we ain't got to talk in a while like yes. that. Like, has that been difficult? Has that been something that, you know, ha how have you kept that in the forefront? Man, just, you know, trying to stay true to myself. Like you said, you know, like, this is my bro. Like, we went to high school together, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> like he said, you know, he knows how hard it is to be where we from. And it is a lot of, you know, hate and pushback because people want to, you know, it's a small town. So when you make it out of there, it's always going to be people who feel like they should have your spot or be in your place or how'd you do it or whatever. But that's why I do it. That's why I keep it in the forefront, because I want people to be reminded that no matter what you can still do, especially the young kids coming up in that area, no matter what pushback you get, no matter what. Uh, people try to say or do to you you stay true to yourself you stay true to what you believe in mm. in your heart and you always show love and stay humble and that's what i do you know what i mean and that's all i can do say where you from what's the name of that town i'm from maslin ohio there it is maslin man i only heard about that place when i met you yeah yeah and, and i was in uh you know we call it the milk you know that we uh it's a nickname that we gave it and um i was in south africa cape town and somebody came up to me and shouted milk in South Africa, Cape Town. Wow. Isn't so. it amazing? Like, Joe, I know when you guys went to Cape Town, man, um, how on the pulse they are. Yeah. Like, they yeah. know your shit. Yeah. 
like when we went to Cape Town, they knew my whole resume. They knew stuff about me that people in the States don't talk about. Like they yes. go deep sway in tech even before radio. Right. <laughs> I was like, wow, man, how you know that? Yeah. You know, in South Africa, uh, yeah. in South Africa, in Cape Town, Johannesburg. Yes. You know, yes. Uh, the very Durban, famous, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who did you hang out with in Cape Town? I uh my dude Zay, my dude Zay. Walter. Know, yeah, Walter. Yeah, yeah. Um who else did who else was we with? Uh Zay, youngster. Walter. Yeah, youngster. youngster. You know youngster, you know yeah, youngster, know youngster, the rapper yeah. youngster. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. So that was pretty much it, but they showed us so much love, man. And I I know I don't know how much time we got, but South Africa was definitely life changing for me. Um, we spent some time in uh, Nairobi and um, Kenya mm-hmm. too, but mm-hmm. just to be in Africa, it felt like home. Um, you know, everybody welcomed us like it was yeah. home. That first thing everybody said when they first meet you was "Welcome, welcome home." home. Yeah. And home. you you feel that shit you like feel, you yeah. yeah you be hugging strangers <laughs> like thank you man you <laughs> right. want to belong yeah. yeah and you you know and then they were like you gonna see people who look like you and I'm seeing people I like that might be my cousin like <laughs> yo let me tell you something who came up here uh, Mr Easy was it Mr Let's Easy speak about Mr Easy. And Come I on. seen y'all have Burner Boy too. You like saw that. Yeah. I've been on Afrobeat crazy, and okay, those are two of my favorite. Yeah, yeah, I see where okay, y'all yeah. pushing. Yeah, y'all before everybody. Well, we always been. Yeah, that I know that's Sally. What... Come on, that's how, we, <laughs> that's how you. That's yeah. how I got to you. Exactly. All right, um, <laughs> nothing's changed. Right. They'll all take claim and ownership, but we know. No, no um, definitely. And that's not why I do it. Um, Mr. Easy told me he thought I was from South Africa because of all the MTV stuff that would play. Over the years, they literally thought I was South African, yeah, that, and I said I might be, dog. Yeah, <laughs> I just roll with it. I rock with it. I, that might be. Right, right. Show me our cousins. Right, right, right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I was like, but it, it is an amazing experience. I'm really happy for you, Stally. Come Thank up you. here anytime. Thank you. Thank you All for right. having me always. Every time. Thank bro. you for you know having Gerald and Dutchie. Yeah, you Dutchie know, was in there with a little arrogance, though. Yeah. I felt that. Huh? <laughs> I felt another beat on. Yeah, him. yeah. You really want to go to work? We'll see what you made of, Dutchie. You good? Okay. No, I'm good. You, you from Brooklyn? It. You. You know, Biggie came on my show, had to do the same yeah. thing. Oh, yeah? What? Yeah. I'm what? Doing the right yeah. thing. Then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like yeah. that, man. Yeah. Give it up, man. Andre Walker, thanks for coming nah, through, man. Life Dutchy. Thank All you right. very much. Stally, get the new album, Reflection of Self, the head trip out this Friday. Yes. The head trip tour starts November the 7th. I'm going to play all so new. Yes. Turn the count, boy.